Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Reason 10. We are going to talk about automation. Now, automation is something that is kind of left a little confusing here in Propeller Head Reason. Now, I'm in the 30 day trial of Reason 10. I have not actually upgraded yet. Um, I'm planning on eventually upgrading though because I am pretty impressed with Reason 10. And uh, we have a video coming up on uh, using VSTs. I know uh, in the past I've uh, discouraged and kind of said the VSTs don't run that great. This is Reason 9.5, but right here in Reason 10, they actually do seem to run quite a bit better. So keep your eye out for that uh, episode. Um, in the meantime, we're going to explore uh, automation. Automation in Propeller Head Reason is a little confusing and a little um, outdated let me just say outdated um, mainly there's two different types of automation and although it's not called this it's I'm gonna call the automation I'm gonna call it track automation and I'm gonna call it clip automation now these are familiar terms if you're using other DAWs but uh, in propeller head reason they just call it automation but there are uh, two different types of automation um, one of the automations exists within the clip and the other automation exists within the, uh, the timeline or within the track. Um, so let's quickly uh, take a look at what we got here. So you can see what we've got is we've got a Europa here. We've got a Europa plugged in. And then we just have a simple little uh, three note clip. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Oh yeah. And I mean, that's just really a very heartwarming clip. In fact, let's get in a little closer here. There it is. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to automate. We're going to automate. This is what we're going to automate. We're going to automate the shape here of engine one. So engine one shape. That's what we're going to automate. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to do that. One of them is to right click and go edit automation. If we do that, it's going to add an automation lane, okay? You can see an automation lane. Okay, and then if we click on that, we can uh, you know, create a couple of points and then there's our there's our automation. Now we can hit play. And you can see So you can see there's our automation. Now this is actually what I would call track automation, just because it's completely separate from the track. I can move this here, they're completely independent. You know, I can put this back here, put some more MIDI notes and still have, but they're completely separate clips here. Now, another way to do this, let's go ahead and delete that. And you know this dialog box, if this dialog box is getting you down, what you can do, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that, is if you delete something while you're holding control, just hold control and click, you won't get that dialog box. So that's a little shortcut. Hit control. When you're deleting something, hold down control and you won't get that dialog box because that gets a little annoying. We have removed that automation. Now another way to remove that automation is, let's go ahead and control Z that. Another way to remove that automation is just to right click and go clear automation. That will also clear that off of there. And so that's another way to clear the automation. Now another way to do automation is to actually just record it in. And uh, to do that, you got to make sure this automation icon is red and this record icon is red. Now, another huge thing about this method is if you go up here to options, you'll see right here, record automation into note clip. This is a huge thing here. If this is checked, when you manually record by turning the knob, it's going to put it within the clip. If this is unchecked, it's going to put it within the track automation or within a separate clip so let's go ahead and do that let's hit record here and we're going to just turn this knob now you can see that created a separate clip now I'm going to right click and remove that go clear automation and we're going to try that whole thing again but this time we're going to click on record automation into note clip again record record let's hit record and turn that knob Okay, so now you can see it actually recorded it right into the clip there. Now that's a huge thing to understand is this in the options menu, record automation into note clip. This is kind of a huge checkbox here 
because if you manually record your automation this checkbox means a lot it means it's either gonna put it in the clip which in my opinion is clip automation or it's gonna create a separate track with your automation on it now creating a separate track has a lot more options ie you can mute it you can move it around but if you record it within the clip that is a little bit more uh, tidy and a little bit more organized if you do lots of automation and you're not going to change your automation why not record it right into the clip we're going to uncheck that and we're going to go ahead and right click and go clear automation and so you can see that cleared the automation within the clip um, it is deleted the same way by right clicking and going clear automation so it doesn't matter if it's track or if it's clip automation now to manually add these there's a couple of things you need to know and this is where in my opinion uh, propeller head reasons a little kind of outdated like they do need to update this um, if we go up here to this icon this is how you add track automation see it even says track parameter automation track parameter automation right there okay so if you click here and then you go to engine one you go to engine one and then we want engine one shape okay now by doing that it created a track so now you can just double click in here and you can just do your automation by hand or however you want to do it but that's by clicking up here to delete it, you just go up here again you'll see that little icon you just click that how do you manually do clip automation I want to put automation within the clip you know draw it in you know how do you draw in clip automation well I found out how if you open up this clip here at the very very far right of the screen you'll see these little tiny magnifying glasses here now these these to me on a 1440 monitor you need a you practically need a magnifying glass to see these magnifying glasses you need a magnifying glass to see these magnifying glasses now these are at the far right of the screen when you're in edit mode okay <clears throat> and you'll see you have a couple of magnifying glasses to increase uh, the width here and this is this is part of of the interface in my opinion which is a little outdated um, you can uh, you know of course control the height of your MIDI right here you can go from key edit drum edit or Rex edit but then below that you'll see this little tiny blue square I, I seriously you need you need like a magnifying glass to see it that says note lane performance parameter automation note lane okay I guess that's clip I wish that would just say clip automation so of course if you click on this there's all your options so we can go to engine one shape there it is so when you clicked on that it opened up this automation lane right here okay you can see it down here at the bottom now the thing about this automation lane is you cannot uh, you can't double click or anything you have to use the pen tool to automate another thing that's kind of a little on the outdated so if you click on that and then you click on another point up here bring that up a little bit you know do whatever you want with that uh, there's some automation in there but this is clip automation okay if we close this all down you can see that it did not create a separate track here it actually put that automation within the clip here and so that's uh, that's pretty neat so we can play that and now to remove that same thing you just right click go clear automation and so clearing the automation is the same for both clip automation and track automation so track automation right here and clip automation right here and that's pretty much how you have to do it so that's it that's the two different kind of automation types although they're not called track automation and clip automation I tend to look at them as track and clip automation just because once you create automation within the clip it's gonna move with the clip it's ingrained into the clip it's part of the clip and so it doesn't matter where you move the clip the automation is part of it so it will move with it as opposed to the track automation which is a separate clip and so you can kinda of move that independently of the actual MIDI clip so that's the quick tip for this week. Chill computer guy, if you haven't already, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys again. Tell me how many pills you took.